Shalom, my game brother, coming out back to you with this shoe. Started by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well and teach well, leading Israel by great example to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect, teaching and preaching this truth, and his righteousness, period, and sincerity, and waiting on Yahweh shot for salvation. Shalom, my game. Right? And the entire this lesson, they root to enter that in, to enter into that rest. Okay. Um, it's gonna be a short, sweet lesson to the point. Alright. Alright. Um let's go into Hebrews four. And start at verse start at verse eight. For if Yahweh Shai had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? Verse 9, there remaineth therefore a rest to the people of Yahweh. Alright. Verse 10, for he that is entered into rest, into his rest, he also have ceased from his own works, as Yahweh did from us. Verse 11, let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall. After that, the same example of unbelief. So, Yahweh Shai did the work. Yahweh did the work. The elect got to do the work. You know, that's plain to the point. All right. So we are laboring to enter into a, a everlasting rest. Okay. Where we have our kingdom established. The the the, the monarchy. All right. Beginning with Yahweh Shai. All right. And the elect. Okay. We are we are seeking for. The rest from uh, um, the rest, the rest from wicked people, rest from destruction, the rest from uh, madness. All right, the rest from all all sorts all sorts of of miseries that 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 are occurring in this world, man. All right, this is why we labor. It. We labor it because we love the Lord, we love the brethren. And also, we love the we love the truth, all right. Most important, the doctrine. All right. Um, let's get second address ten twenty three, and which is the greatest of all, the seal of Zion, have now lost her honor. For she is delivered into the hands of them that hate us. So we are in the hands of the enemy, which is Esau, Edom, and other nations. All right. Are we in rest? No, we're not in rest. All right. We are in we are in captivity. We are under the curses. We are we are um, miserable. All right. You know, mistreated. All right. We went astray. All right. But the Lord. All right. Called a few people back into a a, a, a a doctrine of rest, which is the truth. Okay, verse twenty four. And therefore shake off thy great heaviness and put away the multitude of sorrows. All right, you know when the multitude of sorrows going into, uh, you know, we gotta get up in the morning, go to work, or you know, it's something you know, our children have to go to school. All right, our women, our women giving us hell. Right, you know, we have to worry about bills, payments. You know, and yeah, and the Lord said it best: we are we are in our captivity yet this day, and we are subject unto payments. All right, our souls are in debt. All right, we are in physical debt with this devil. Okay, if we don't pay our bills, we can't live. You know, we can't we can't drive if we don't pay our bills. Okay, so this is why we labor you know we labor cons consistently to uh to gain that rest of how about shimmel shot you know to to see we're seeking a new life a new life of righteousness all right and you know anybody who to to you know be um anybody to be this this run to about this truth you know they're missing out you know the the, the big picture you know the kingdom of Heaven is going to be the kingdom of rest for the uh, for the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. You know that the that 
that the mighty may be merciful unto thee. Who's the mighty? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Again, and the highest shall give thee rest and ease from the, thy neighbor, from, from thy labor. So we're laboring, you know, the labor, labor to please Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? To make uh to ensure that the Lord fulfill prophecy so that we can get up out of here, get up on those ships, be changed, you know, forever. But the Lord have to bring the hell, try us as gold tried through the fire, and see what we're made of. Okay. Verse 25. And it came to pass while I was talking with the with her, behold, her face upon upon a sudden shine did exceedingly. So this is going to the nation of Israel. When we changed, all right, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be exceedingly uh, excited, happy, man. You know, we're gonna finally rest when we get our kingdom. You know, all that, you know, all the miseries and hell that we caught on this side. You know, dealing with a bunch of wickedness, we ain't gonna remember that no more, man. When we in the kingdom, we're gonna finally rejoice and enjoy the power. You know, enjoy the power that the Heavenly Father is going to bless us with. All right. We're going to be with our big brother, Yahweh Shai, forever. And we're going to be with each other forever. You know, we don't have to no longer be scattered among the heathen nations, scattered from each other, you know, in different parts of the city. We're going to be together, man. You know, you know our women's going to be in order. Children is going to be in order. Animals is going to be in order. Water is gonna be cleaner. Air is gonna be cleaner. The stones are gonna uh, give out its vibrant, uh, the vibrant energy or frequency and ele uh, elegance, and as well as we're gonna to listen to a realist, real music. Man. So we are laboring to, we are laboring for a uh, peaceful rest from a place of wickedness, man. You know, ain't gonna be no more evil, man. No more. No more wars, you know, just straight peace, harmony, man. You know, I'm gonna, you know, the set is gonna, the world's gonna smell good. Things gonna be pure, man. You know. All right, and it came to pass while I was talking with her, behold, her face upon a, upon a sudden, shining exceedingly, and her countenance glister, glistered. It, so that I was afraid of her and mused what it might be. So that's, you know, that's the nation of Israel uh, being changed. All right. You know, we're going to be finally one with our power. All right. Revelation. Let me, let's go to Revelation. Revelation. Book of Revelation 21. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Okay, the new heaven is, is a people before it's a place, so the nation of Israel is going to be changed. So we're going to be that new heaven. All right, the, what did Yahweh Shai say? You know, the, he said the kingdom of Yahweh is within you. All right, so the people is going to be changed first. That's the new heaven. And a new earth, because the earth is going to be refreshed for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. Okay? And I... John saw the holy city, the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from Yahweh, from power out of heaven, prepared a bride adorned for her husband. So we're gonna be with Yahweh Shai, and that's the we're the bride. Yahweh Shai is the husband, All right? And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, "Behold, the tabernacle Yahweh is with men, with the the men of the nation of Israel," and it says. And he will dwell with them, and they shall, and they shall be his people, and Yahweh, and Yahweh himself shall be with them, all right, and be their power, all right. So the Lord is going to be with forever, man, and that's what, that's why we're laboring today to uh, enter into the rest, you know, the the rest of everlasting, all right. You know, we want that everlasting uh, comfort of the Lord. You know, the Lord is never going to be away from us like how he is today. So he's going to always be with us. All right. Verse 4. And Yahweh shall write, wipe Yahweh by Shimei Shai 
shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death. Like how this generation is nothing but death and chaos. Neither sorrow, constantly worrying about being, uh, uh, worrying about the next dollar, constantly worrying about how you're gonna get the next meal, worrying about getting the next drink, worrying about you know uh, a woman liking you. You don't have to worry about that in the, in the kingdom to come, man. It's gonna be all yours, man. You know, everything's gonna be all yours, beginning with the elect. All right, the hundred and forty-four thousand is gonna be all ours, man. Lord willing, we have that number. So we say, Lord willing, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. And he that sat up on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. All right, so the Lord is going to make all things new, even us. We're going to come out of these uh, nasty flesh that's always going off, always sinning, always being attacked by demons, and always. You know, always being rebellious, and the, the flesh is what uh, uh, uh is the destructive thing, man. That's why Paul said it best. Oh, wretched man that I am, who's gonna deliver me from the body of this death? You know, the, the flesh represents death. You know, it want to do the own, its own thing. It's weak. Verse five, and he that sat up on the throne said. Behold, I make all things new. So everything is going to be brand new. New water, new air. I mean, everything's going to be refreshed. Earth is going to be clean. Fresh grass, trees is going to be young and strong. And animals is going to be clean and, you know, working with each other. You know, that's what we're waiting for. I make all things new. So everything brand new. New women, too. Oh, yeah. Brand new women. You don't have to deal with no more toxic women. Chaotic, you know, barking like uh, pit bulls and rock wallers. You don't have to deal with that anymore. A women will be in order and in peace with their husband. And they're going to love order. You know, we're going to love um, being under Yahweh Shai. We're going to love Yahweh Shai. We're going to love the brethren. You know, there ain't going to be no more evil eyes, man. All eyes is going to be a peace. One understanding under the power of Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. So the words is true and faithful is written. It's going to be done. All right? You saw Edom can't stop it. The other nations can't stop what's written in these scriptures. These scriptures are eternal life, it's forever. All right, verse six, and he said unto me, "It is done," meaning all prophecies was fulfilled, and the, the elect got him into the ships and has changed. America's uh, destroyed by the nuclear missiles and Yahweh Shai himself. World War Three is finished. It is done. That's that's what the Lord means, and we could finally have the kingdom of Israel established. I'm Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that I will give unto him that is a thirst of a fountain of the water of life freely. So the Lord's gonna give us all things. Verse seven, he that overcometh for shout. So we have to overcome the, the prophecy, we have to overcome the tribulations, overcome the our temptation, which is the uh, uh, the mark of the beast, you know. So we got to make it through. You know, we can't stop pushing. We got to keep pushing. He got overcome strong and inherit, inherit all things of the universe. And inherit the whole universe. It's hard to see now because we're in the body of death. So we only know what we see on earth. But just imagine just going from zero to zero to infinite real fast. You know, zero to infinite real fast. The heart, the heart, the, which is the mind, can't comprehend because it's, it's, it's deceitful. You know, is 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 deceitful. But the Lord word is faithful and true, and that's what you have to honor and respect. So he that overcome shall inherit all things, and I will be his power, and he shall be my son. So the elect, you know, the hundred forty-four thousand men. 
They're going to be the new judges of the earth, and we're going to be the sons of the living power, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai is going to be our big brother to uh, watch over us, we're willing. We're going to end with Romans 8, 8 and 17. Matter of fact, I got, I got two more. And if children, then hears, and hears of Yahweh, and join hears with Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer with him, are we suffering by this truth, by with his word, by being persecuted, by being mocked, by being scoffed, by being um, uh, 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 neglected, by being uh, uh, treated unfairly, and that's the part of the suffering, you know, our, our, our stuff breaks down, you know, we break down, you know, we, we cry, we, we shed blood, you know, you know, we do, we do a lot for this truth, all right, that's why you got to give, you know, give respect to the men that are, are laboring in this work, man, you know, because the, 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 the amount of uh, atrocities that we go through, man, each day on and off the, uh, on and off the cameras, you know, it, it, it's a blessing for us to come on this camera and, and be able to teach to the, to the flock of Yahweh Shai, man. All right? You know? So, you know, walking in this truth, you got to understand, you know, the, the, what, what you're about to enter into in order to gain something that, you know, it will never be broken. You know, you're going to be uh, gaining eternal life, you know, everlasting peace. Everlasting sanity. All right, and joint hairs with Hamashiach, and so be that we suffer with him, that we may also glorify together. So you can't go around that, man. So we suffer uh, for Yahweh Shai's sake at this given time. All right, and as we suffer, you know, we have to we have to stay steadfast. We have to just you know take all the darts being thrown at us. And just try to regenerate, you know, our wounds through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All going to end with uh, Zechariah 8 and 4. Thus said the Lord, the Lord Yahweh of hosts, there shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem and every man with his staff in his hand for, for very age. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the street thereof. So that's us having our everlasting rest, our everlasting peace. Thus said the Lord of hosts, Yahweh of hosts, if, if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant, which is the elect of this people in these days, should it also be marvelous in my eyes, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country, and I will bring them, and they will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their power and truth. And in righteousness, so the Lord is getting ready to uh, save, you know, His elect. All right, and you know what, what we have coming to us is everlasting rest, everlasting peace, and you know our children, our women, they're gonna be forever happy, man. So you're gonna be living forever, ever, forever, ever. You know, so you know. Lord willing, this lesson was exhorting and edifying to the nation of Israel. All right. We're almost out of here. Lord willing. And about giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of great millstone who will and teach well, leading Israel by a great example to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect, teaching and preaching this truth. 
is righteousness, purity, and sincerity. And when you're on Yahweh's shot, salvation. Shalom, my kids, stay strong in the spirit. We almost out of here with the salvation, Yahweh's shot. Shalom.